Hey team, if you're into switch baiting, you want to get that marlin, for example, up right and close to the boat, but you don't want him to bite the lure with a hook in it, but you want to keep him really interested so you can then pull that teaser out and cast a bait back in, or maybe a fly, and hook him on something a little bit different. Well, let's do it. I'm going to show you how to attract them. What I've got here is a skirted lure, quite simple. And at the base, no hook, but I've got a bit of fishing line tied to where the hook would normally get attached to. I've also got here some stripy tuna fillet from Tweed Bait. So what this rig is, it's using the belly flap of the tuna tied onto the skirted lure, and that's going to keep the fish going. Really interested. So all we do here, we just tie this on. When you give it a bit of a pull, it just tightens in over the flesh, and as you can see there, it's really tight. It's not gonna come off whatsoever. And from here, skirt hangs over it, just like that. So when the marlin comes up, he wants to eat the squid. You gotta think about what happens in nature. The squids are eating the bait fish out on the ocean, so he's got that under his tentacles. The marlin's gonna come up and wanna slice around this. He's not getting hooked, because there's no hook in it, but he's gonna get the scent of that perfectly flavored stripy tuna fillet. And of course, you pull that back to the boat, rip it out, cast in the fly, bang, you're on. The marlin will be confused and he'll eat the, the lure with a hook in it. There you go, how to use a stripy tuna fillet belly ready for your next pelagic adventure.